Hi everyone, welcome back to Bookworm on the Caves. Okay, I have so many things I would like to deal with and share with you on this channel, more than I can fit into one or two posts per week. So please, if you enjoy my company or even if you don't, but are curious nonetheless, please subscribe and click on that bell icon for notifications of new uploads. Only by growing the channel will I be able to make changes in my life and schedule to upload here more regularly. Okay, so I had a number of requests to give my opinion on the Nicola Bully case. And I also had two long discussions, one with a friend and another with another YouTuber about the case. And like I've said in a previous video, I don't know why, I can't explain explain it but some cases although interesting and intriguing just does not hit me in the field yes i have empathy and all the rest but it does not keep me awake at night but then there are the odd cases which really really elicits a variety of reactions from me from anger to irritability to sadness to despondency and the case of Nicola Bully is indeed one of those. For the one or two of you who may not know, Nicola Bully is a 45 year old mother who dropped her daughters off at school and then as per her usual routine took her dog Willow for a walk in a nearby park or nature area from which she subsequently disappeared. Her cell phone, the dog's harness and the dog was found near a bench in the park. Now right from the initial stages the police made a very bold statement and said that Nicola had an accident and went into the water and a search of the river started almost immediately. Now, I'm not going to follow suit and advocate for or against Nicola going into the water because I don't know whether she did or not. But what is really getting under my skin now is the fact that because of police making that kind of decisive statement so early on in the investigation, it appears that now, more than two weeks down the line, it has become less about Nicola and more about reputation and egos. And that is indeed disgusting. And if my frustration is reaching fever pitch, then just imagine how Nicola's family must feel. It is obvious that police and those sycophants who will play holier than thou in their effort to support the police are now twisting the narrative to suit their hypothesis and not lose face and that in my opinion is just wrong. So let's address some of the arguments in a logical manner. Firstly, Nicola had a specific routine. She left her vehicle at her daughter's school and entered and exited the park from the same area and walkway each and every time she visited. This place where Nicola entered and left each time is also one of the few places not covered by CCTV. Whether it was not working or there is no CCTV, I don't know, but there is or was no coverage of that specific area and that indeed was shown, proven and pointed out by a man who physically went there and inspected the area. And now, I can't remember who he was, but if I find his video again, I'll post the link in my community tab, okay? However, the point is that because of this one fact, there is no way police could or should have said that Nicola went into the water at such an early stage of the investigation. Because although we all think it is unlikely, 
it is also even possible that Nicola could have walked out on her own. There is nothing to 100% prove that she could not have done that. How or why she would leave her phone or dog does not make sense, but the fact remains that police has no evidence and cannot prove that Nicola did not leave the park and therefore their early statements were premature and irresponsible. Then anyone who watches true crime knows that a criminal can be convicted on the smallest, sometimes most surprising piece of evidence from the most unlikely place or source. It happens and therefore it is absolutely essential that a potential scene, whether it does turn out to be a crime scene or not, be preserved until police and forensics are 100% sure there can be no further evidence retrieved. However, in this case, police did nothing to preserve the scene where the cell phone and dog leash was found. They did not as much as put up a meter of crime scene tape to keep members of the public off or away from the bench. As a matter of fact, in one of the newspaper articles I read, there is actually a photograph of a middle-aged lady with short dark hair sitting on that very same bench watching police while they are working down by the river. If there was any evidence whatsoever at that bench, be it hair, fibers, or even a tiny speck of blood, or a partial fingerprint on a screw or a nail, then I'm afraid it is way too late now. Police have allowed the public free reign to a potential crime scene. And now, after so many days, it is too late. There is no way they would be able to prove that anything they find in the vicinity is actually linked to Nicola or a perpetrator. Again, disgusting and an absolute dereliction of duty. Then I get even more agitated and irritable when so-called experts are speaking out claiming to know dogs and saying the fact that Willow was hanging around in that spot, clearly agitated, is proof that Nicola went into the river. No, it is not. Not at all. Firstly, Springer Spaniels love water. And even if Willow was maybe not a water fanatic, it is still likely that she would have followed Nicola into the water in an effort to try and help if Nicola was in distress. Alternatively, she would have likely barked in the direction of where Nicola went in and disappeared from. But this is just an opinion and a hypothesis. We know nothing about Willow or her personality or even whether she had any kind of training. Then these experts also say that if Nicola was taken, it would have been hard or difficult to get Willow to stay behind and not follow. But again, this is not true. My dogs are not particularly well trained. They are trained to sit for their food and not to potty in the house, and that is it. Now, even so, I can go in and out of my back door 50 times per day and they will not be bothered but the moment I head for my front door they come running because that is the door we leave from when we go for walks it is also the door I leave from when I'm going to be away for a while because that is the way I have to go to open the garage door so they know this and therefore they react differently when I head towards the front door. However, they back off 
as soon as I told them to stay and I'll be back soon. Did I specifically teach them this? No, I didn't. But in time, they learned to understand the difference in meaning of the words, come, let's walk and stay, I'll be back. So there are two other scenarios possible when it comes to Willow. What if Nicola was threatened and told to go with a person? In my opinion, her first instinct would be to protect Willow from harm. Maybe the attacker even told her to shut her dog up or he'll hurt him. And maybe Nicola told Willow to stay. Maybe Nicola also thought that it would help her if Willow stayed behind. Maybe Willow will alert someone. A second possible scenario is that Willow was not wearing her harness and leash when Nicola disappeared. So it is possible that she wandered off or wandered ahead of Nicola. And when she turned back, Nicola was gone. Of course, under such circumstances, Willow will roam in the area where she last saw Nicola or where she can still detect her scent. And of course, she will become agitated. As far as I know, Willow was not wet or her paws muddy when she was found. Thus, I suspect she did not look for Nicola at the water's edge. Okay, next thing. The experts are keen to state that Nicola's puffer jacket could have snagged on tree limbs or rocks holding her down. Well, from the photographs, it is hard to tell what her jacket is stuffed or lined with. I have two similar jackets. The one is a lightweight puffer jacket with some type of nylon outer and polyester filling. Now that jacket does not really become waterlogged. The inner or the filling does not really absorb water well. And as a matter of fact, it is a pain washing it because you push it under the water on the one side and it bubbles and pops up on the other side. Water drains from it very easily and once hanged up, it dries very quickly. So if Nicola was wearing one of those, I would think that it would have helped instead of hindered her to stay afloat longer. And because the outer fabric is so thin, it would have torn from whatever it was snagged on days ago. Okay, then my other jacket is actually a snow jacket. Now, I have no idea what it is filled or lined with, but even when dry, it is rather heavy. But boy, oh boy, when it is wet, it is really, really heavy. So I think they should look more into exactly what kind of jacket Nicola was wearing because in case she had gone into the water, that indeed would also play a major role. Has police searched the surrounding areas with sniffer dogs or cadaver dogs yet? I have not seen any such activity in the news, but maybe they did. If not, then that too is a gross dereliction of duty. There are many, many cases where the victim's body is found months, even years later, and within a hundred or so meters from where they disappeared. I do not consider Nicola properly searched for unless or until all resources have been utilized. Have they been back to the scene with Willow and asked a family member to observe her action? I know police is asking for dash cam footage, etc. But have they gone door to door yet? Have they searched the caravan park top to bottom with dogs yet? 
There is a list of things I can think of. I've seen other law enforcement agencies do, which I have not seen this particular police force do yet. For instance, have they sent drones up into the air over the area yet? I haven't seen that either. I'm sure there are other minor leads they are looking into because they have no choice. But at this point, I personally would like to see more and bigger land searches, a grid search of the area, every hedge and every bush looked under. Anyway, I'll keep tabs on this developing story and in the meantime, I pray for Nicola's family and hope that there will be answers soon. Okay, my dear friends, I'll be back with some more content within the next day or two so until then please take good care of yourselves and each other bye